I'm Colin. And I'm Chris. And, and we're, we're going, going for a drive. drive. What's a better driving instructor, a human or an AI? You know what, today we are at the Florida International Rally and Motorsports Park with a couple of novice track drivers, and we want to find out just that. One of our novices is going to be getting instruction from a human driving instructor. The other one will be getting instruction from the AI of the Garmin Catalyst. Colin will be my student for the day. Before we even get into driving technique, we'll be talking about that throughout the day. What are you, some of your fears and, and, and nervousness uh, levels specifically going into, into this this new new experience for you? It's uh, just making sure you're staying out of people's ways. Uh, there's a lot of different cars that are going to be out here, a lot of them doing much different speeds, going much faster, uh, much different skill level, and just trying to stay out of their ways is another thing that's concerning. Well, I'm looking forward to having this very same conversation at the end of, end of the day, and I'm looking forward to working with you throughout the day on some of this stuff. So uh, let's introduce everybody to Chris, and then we're going to get you in the car in just a few minutes. All right. So you've got a little more experience being here on site. Yeah. Um, but not really much behind the wheel. You, you actually have a lot of laps of this track, but most of them are facing backwards in the back of a pickup truck. So because of that additional experience, we've got a different coach for you. We've got uh, actually the friendly robot here, the Garmin Catalyst. Now, what's your sort of anticipation of like learning from a machine? Well, I'm pretty excited to use the Catalyst because I was out here with you when we did the initial review of it and edited the video and it, it seems like a really cool device. So I'm interested to see what I can learn from this, not being able to ask it questions. Yeah. My big question is, how are they going to feel going into their next track there? Are they going to feel like like either human coaching or machine coaching ad adequately prepared them to be ready for the next step on their track adventure? So with that, we are ready to go. We're going to get both these guys on track. Any, any, any final thoughts, Chris? I'm ready to go. Let's do it. <laughs> I would say if, if there's anything on here that, I, that it like is a, is a red flag, uh, I would say it's it's this right here where you're you're in a long sweeping corner and you're you're making fairly noticeable speed adjustments in the middle of the corner. Um, let's try and get away from that and try and maintain speed, even if it's, it's a lower speed at first. Let's try and maintain the speed through that corner, and then when you finally do get on the gas, we're getting on the gas once and we're and we're staying on the gas all. Of all the way out. The, the more you get comfortable with, with more extreme braking events, the easier this whole thing is gonna be. So if, if you feel like you wanna focus on, on braking next time, I think I think that's that, that's great. Let's see if we can sharpen these peaks even a little bit more and you'll realize that those hard initial brake applications allow you to extend the previous straightaway even, even further. So nice, nice job. Awesome. All right, Chris, let's do it. I'm not going to really give you any more driving tips. We're going to let, let the go, but I, I will interpret some of the things that the Garmin's saying. I've got a little more experience using them, so we'll be able to get, get through this quicker. First off, we can see your best lap is a 154.90, which was faster than your, your first session, which is good. Optimal lap is a 154.24, so the Garmin thinks you can be uh, about six and a half tenths of a second faster than, than, than you are right now. And then in the opportunities tab, this is, this is showing us in, in the hairpin, your, your fastest total lap, it looks like you actually made a little bit of a mistake in, in the hairpin. 
because it's telling me that um, your your fastest lap time, you were ac it, it actually wants your turn minimum to be a little a little bit slower. So does that sound like maybe at some point you overcooked part of that corner? Yeah, at one point I yeah. felt like the car was pushing a little bit, so that makes sense. Yeah. So that what what that's just telling us is that sometimes um, corner exit, especially on, on corners like that, is very important. So uh, sometimes that means you have to give up a little bit more mid corner. Nice. You can actually bring up your optimal app here, and you can watch a video of this is going to stitch together all of the best segments. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can watch what your optimal app would look like. So next time it will be reminding you, um, starting with like the second lap, about about stuff stuff to do. So we will wait for Colin to come back and trade you guys off. And you're you're actually both. Um, your, your times are extraordinarily close to one another right now. Uh, okay, so we have come to the end of the day and I'm really proud of both of these guys. Uh, they got more excited and more engaged every time they came off track and they both got considerably faster than they were this morning too. In fact, they both improved by a very, very similar amount and um, their, their ending times, every, every single session was faster and their ending times were actually very, very similar. So we'll start with Colin here. Um, wh where are you Where are you now and where did you think you would, you would be now? Um, I am super excited. This was a lot of fun. I uh, had a lot of nerves coming into this, really nervous coming into this. And I was worried that I would just be you know, really slow all day, kind of white knuckling the whole time. But it was once I got out, made that turn onto track, it just, it really felt pretty natural. And it was just a matter of, okay, I know how to drive a car around this like a road, but how do I get around it as efficiently and quickly as possible? So we didn't actually do any right seating with you, but we did a lot of stuff based on, on the data analysis. Um, would you say, would, did that stuff resonate with you? Did you, did you get something, something from, from that feedback? Would would there, how would you, you rate me as far as feedback and getting you ready for each subsequent session? Uh, it, it definitely helped. It definitely helped to, you know, look at the data and be like, okay, well, right here, you know, you could be doing more. Um, I could understand how right seating could help. Um, it would be a bit more like having how Chris had someone kind of in his ear saying, like, hey, well, this next turn, maybe push it a little harder. And I could see that maybe would have would have helped. But uh, I think it was great. It was great to be able to come in and see, you know, right here, you can see this line, you're, you know, uh, touching the throttle too much. You need to just be more, you know, hardcore with it. Awesome. And so Chris, you you got the virtual right seat, basically, um, a, a right seater that didn't have to sign a waiver. Where, where are you at now versus where, where, where you thought you'd be at this point in the day? Well, first lap out, my worst fear happened and I spun the car. <laughs> right around the corner from pit out. After I got that out of my system, it was great hearing the feedback from the Garmin, like encouraging me to go faster and looking at it afterwards where it would say, here's where you need to brake later and show graphs. And it was, it was pretty intuitive. I could piece together and say, make a mental note at this turn, I've been doing this. And then the robot lady would tell me either do that better or do something different. And I would keep doing that improving. At least I think I am yeah. each turn. So is there anything after having spent the day listening to an AI, is there anything that you're just dying to ask, you know, uh, a, a human or, or what, what do you feel that the, it, your, your instruction was lacking anything that you would like to see specifically point, pointed out in, in what you learned today? I don't think my instruction was lacking anything, but I think the Garmin does a great job as my first time getting me acquainted with how I should be driving on track. So it, 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 it sounds like we've got really, really good feedback from both these, these devices, some great real-time feedback from the AI, um, some great post feedback from the human instructor, and they're both helping, helping these guys learn a lot about how to, how to go, 
go fast on track. But I think if we've shown anything today, it's that there are more than, more than one way to actually help somebody go fast, and it doesn't always depend on a human. Thanks for taking this journey with us. If you enjoy the content that we are making here at Grassroots Motorsports, you know what to do. Go down here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and check us out on the web at grassrootsmotorsports.com. We'll see you next time at the track. Support brands that support Grassroots Motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. Visit crcindustries.com to learn more.